Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be super, super exciting. So a lot of you guys have been curious about how I make money while being a college student. As you may know, when you're in college, you are living broke. Broke. I've been really lucky throughout my college career that I never really had to work a part-time job, but that's just because I found other ways to make money in lieu of that. So I just wanted to share one of the biggest ways that I've made money while I've been in college with you guys, because this is a tip that people don't even think about, but it's so easy to do. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about the Poshmark app. Poshmark is basically a free app where you can buy and sell products that you no longer use. So you could sell makeup on it, you can sell clothing on it, you could sell shoes on it. Poshmark has made online buying and shopping so much easier. I would never recommend something to you guys that I didn't use myself personally and I use Poshmark religiously. Every single time I come home, I clear out my closet and I'm like, okay, what can we sell today? What don't I need anymore? So I'm gonna be sharing with you today my five best tips for making a sale on Poshmark so you guys can turn all of your excess items into cash money. So my first tip on Poshmark is to make sure that you're taking really clear pictures. It's the same thing as like a dating app. You wanna make sure that your profile looks good so that people wanna buy your items. When you're posting on a dating app, you're gonna make sure that you're posting the best pictures of yourself because you wanna make sure that you are well presented and you know that you're looking your best. And it's the same thing on Poshmark. When you're selling your clothes, you wanna make sure that your clothes look their best. I personally just make sure that I have really, really great lighting. I have a really great window in my room and I'll flat lay the item on my laminate it's not hardwood but it looks like hardwood i'll lay it on my laminate floor and that's just like kind of my style a lot of people when i go onto their closets they just have their items you know laid across their bed it's like they're in a rush you really want to take your time and you're taking pictures and you really want to make sure that everything looks good make sure that you're taking pictures of the front of the item as well as the back you know and really just make sure that you're putting a lot of time and effort into this because it technically is a job, you know, it is paying and you know, it can pay potentially a lot. So just make sure that you are taking your time with it. Don't rush it and make sure that you're taking enough pictures so the potential customer can really see what the product looks like. My second tip is details, details, details. Make sure that you're putting details about the product such as what kind of material it is, if it runs a little bit small, if it runs too big. Make sure that you're really informing the consumer about what they're getting so that way when they get the product is exactly as described so there's no question marks or there's no confusion after a sale is made. One thing that I really like to do is if I purchased an item online, I'll go back into my email and I'll try and find the email. Uh, you know how you get when you order something online, how you get like, oh, like your order was received or order confirmation emails. I'll go back into those emails and I'll click the product that I had bought. I'll go into the details that the website actually provided and I'll put that in my description when I'm uploading to Poshmark. This is a super easy way to make sure that you're getting all the details about the product. My third tip is to be really, really realistic with yourself when you're clear when you're clearing out your closet. I for one have been sitting on clothing since like 2014 and I just like cannot let it go. But you need to part ways with your clothing if you're not wearing it because it's just such a waste of space and you're sitting on money you guys. Like if you just take it out of your closet, you can make money. When you're going through your closet, really, really think about the last time you wore that article of clothing or if you really are ever gonna wear it again. My fourth tip is to be super active on the app. Same as Twitter or Instagram, if you want your friends to like your pictures or retweet your tweets, you're gonna do the same for them. It's kind of like an unwritten rule. If I share something from your closet to my followers that that Poshmark user is gonna do the same. So if you see a product on Poshmark that you think, you know, looks really great, is in really great condition, but you don't necessarily wanna buy it yourself, it's like a little retweet button, just share it to your followers so you could help that buyer make a sale and they'll probably do the same for you. One of my favorite features on the app is parties and parties are basically hosted by other Poshmark users. There's about four different parties every single day. So basically what that means is a party is for specific items. So you could share your listing to that party, which is super great because people are going to that party and looking for those items specifically, so you're more inclined to make a sale. My fifth and final piece of advice is to make sure that you're paying attention to your packaging. If you've made a sale, that is great, but you wanna make sure that you get a good rating so more people are inclined to shop from your closet. I personally reuse packaging because I do a lot of online shopping. So many people waste packaging and I honestly think it's such a shame. If you order something online, hold on to that packaging for when you make a sale. So I just keep a little pile in my room of all of the extra packaging that I have from online shopping. So this is just one from Hollister. It's just something that I like to do because I don't like to be wasteful. And what I love about Poshmark is the cost of shipping is not coming out of your pocket. So it actually comes out of the buyer's pocket. So that is something to keep in mind when you are price adjusting. Keep in mind that the consumer does have to pay for shipping. 
Shipping is a flat rate of $6.95 unless you offer a discount to them, which would be taken off of your profits. So once I print out a shipping label, I take a pair of creative scissors and I will actually cut out my shipping label with a pair of these scissors. That way there's a nice little design around the shipping label. So I actually went ahead and I printed up a mock printing label just so I could show you guys what I do with the printing label. Poshmark will email this to you guys. So I will take a pair of these scissors to cut out my shipping label. I wanna make sure that my packaging is super cute and looks super put together. I don't want to just slap tape onto a box and just be like, here you go. And then I make sure that I don't cut all the way down because I will use this part of the shipping label to write a little note to the buyer just to thank them. This is just what the shipping label will look like. That is the little design on it. And I think this is super cute and such a nice way to make your packaging look really put together. So like I mentioned, I will save the bottom half of the shipping label. Again, I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did with the shipping label. I'm just gonna make sure that I'm cutting the design on all of the edges. So this is what the final product will look like and then I'm just gonna cut it one more time down the center. I normally will write the same message. I normally just write, hey love, thank you so much for shopping with me. I hope you enjoy your purchase, XOXO Allison. Every time I write a love note, I will take one of these stickers that I already had. I'll take the little heart and I'll just place it on the notes to make it a little bit more put together. So this is just what my love note will look like and I'll put this in the packaging so the buyer can read it when they get their purchase. So the overall idea here is just to make sure that you are working with what you have. You don't wanna spend extra money because the whole idea behind Poshmark is to make money. If you keep these five tips that I gave you in mind, I'm sure you'll be making sales right away. I've made about $2,000 using this app and that is just from 2017. And I don't sell anything that I don't own already, so I just, basically clean out my closet and sell things that I already own and I'm not using anymore. So I'll be leaving a link in the description box so you guys can download the app. If you guys have any extra questions, feel free to leave a comment on this video and I'll be sure to get back to you. So Poshmark was kind enough to sponsor this video. Thank you, thank you so much Poshmark. I, I honestly get like, I don't know, I get like speechless when I get to work with companies that I actually enjoy using. Like I am genuinely a Poshmark user and I use the app all the time. You could go ahead and look at my closet. I make sales left and right. Being able to work with them is such a dream come true and I'm so thankful. So thank you so much to Poshmark. And like I said, if you guys have any additional questions about how the app works, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you. But I hope you guys have a great day and happy poshing. Bye guys.